Hi guys, it's Night Fear, and I am coming on today to do my wrap up for Romance-a-thon, which was from the 17th to the 23rd. I did pretty good. I didn't finish all the challenges, but I got six out of the seven done, so I'm pretty proud of myself. And I did start the seventh book, I just didn't finish it. So, and I had to, because I didn't finish um, the last book, I had to rearrange some of the things that I, the challenges, I had to kind of switch books around because the one book I read was for the Read 7 Romance books and obviously I didn't do that so that, that couldn't have fit that challenge. So anyway, I had to switch some things around, but I still read all the books that I wanted to read that I originally said I was going to read for this readathon. So the first one is to read a Forbidden Romance. This is one I switched around. Um, so it kind of fits, but not as well as the first book that I had picked for this challenge. Um, so the one I'm going to say that this fits is The Winner's Curse by Mary Rutkowski. Um, and this one, excuse me, I gave five stars. I really, really, really enjoyed this. Um, this is about this world where... Um, this particular uh, group of people that our main character, sh her father is a general and um, they kind of believe in um, they believe in uh, conquering kind of everybody uh, and they're real into you know either you're going to be in the military or you're going to get married and so that's kind of where she is. Um, she's only 17 and she doesn't have to make the choice until she's 20. And so she's going through this, and she ends up in this slave auction place by accident. Her friend was kind of dragging her along, and they end up in this place. She ends up bidding on this slave, and things kind of go from there. Um, there's kind of an uprising, and she's kind of stuck right in the middle of everything. It's really good. This is a series, and I cannot wait to get the second one. Um, I really enjoyed the writing. Uh, and yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this. And it's a forbidden romance because she ends up, of course, falling for the slave. And of course, that's not allowed. And because also the slave is a different, from a different place than she is. So, yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'd give that five stars. So the next one is to read a, a new adult romance. And for this one, uh, I picked Beautiful Disaster. Um, I also gave this one five stars, uh, and this is by Jamie McGuire. This book was amazing. Um, a lot of people I could see aren't going to like this. It kind of had that, um, not, not the same, like the same characters and the same plot and stuff, but it gave me the same feels that I get when I read Twilight. It's just that all-consuming in the world have to know what's going to go on just just you know I read this I think in one day or else it was an evening and then the next into the next day kind of thing um so it didn't take me long and it, it's not a thin book um but I just oh it was so good but it's about this girl her and her friend have moved to this this college town and have started going to college and the reason is is she, is the girl's trying to get away from her past. Um, it does tell you what the past is. I'm not going to tell you because that's a spoiler. Um, and the very first chapter, we're like right in it. She's, her friend has t taken her to this like fight club thing where they um, have private fights. And easy, Christopher. Um, and, you know, she meets the guy, like, in the first chapter. And, I mean, he's got tattoos. He's fighting in this fight club yeah. thing. So, he is the bad guy. And she doesn't want to have anything to do with him. And it kind of goes from there. A bet is made. And it's either he stays abstinent for 30 days or she moves into his apartment for 30 days. And so, it's really... I mean, the bet is interesting. It's just interesting. There actually is a second book um, that's told from his perspective, which I need to get... All, uh, well, actually, I'm on hold right now for my e-library for that book. And then there's actually a spin-off series because the guy has brothers. 
and then there's books with his brother so I want to get those and read those so I want to read all in this world I really enjoy the way she writes and it's just it's just amazing so yeah five stars definitely Kaylin okay so the third is romance with pink on the cover um, originally I had the winner's curse but I I had to switch it around for unblemished and there is pink right here on the cover and her lips are kind of pink um, mostly it's kind of bluish but there is some a little bit of pink right here um, and this was the seventh book the read seven books and like I said I didn't end up reading seven so I had to move it around so that this one I could use this book for one of those but this is unblemished by Sarah Eller um, I gave this one four stars uh, this is about a girl who has a birthmark on half her face and all through her life she's been picked on um, and it's horrible and her mom dies and, and this is in the very very beginning of the book because we're at the funeral at the very beginning of the book and so her mom dies and she's having to deal with this and she doesn't like to be around people and this guy that she's had a crush on ends up becoming her um, guardian her legal guardian and then we find out that wait a minute she's not quite everything is not quite what she thought it was and so she ends up going to this magical world and finding out some things about herself um, and yeah that's where I'm gonna leave that um, and it's it's really good another series and I'm definitely gonna continue with this because I want to find out um, what happens um, and this one has a love ends up with a love triangle um, that is very well done and I'm really liking the love triangle and I've got somebody picked out and I'm hoping she ends up with who I think so we'll see we'll, we'll see <laughs> but anyway yeah I definitely recommend that one too um, the next one is Read a Romance released in 2019 and I chose The Amish Baker by Mary E. Bast or Bast. Um, this one I gave four stars. This one was really good. Um, this is about a, uh, an Amish Baker. Um, she, her husband has died so she's a widow and she's running her father's bakery who has also died and so she's running it and of course she doesn't own it. Her brother does and things happen and she is all what they call referred to as old Amish and she meets this guy who is new Amish and they kind of have this spark but they can't be together because of course the old and the new don't go together and then we also have her um her uh bishop who is trying to set her up with you know one guy after another and so all this is going on and then the guy the cute guy the cute new order guy is his son ends up breaking something of hers and so he ends up helping her a little bit and he's like six six i think um and he ends up helping her in the bakery it's just a sweet cute little story and i really really enjoyed it and it was really short um but I really enjoyed it and enjoyed learning a little bit more. But there are some characters in here that I really, you just want to take them and go, what are you thinking? Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Still enjoy, really enjoying the, the Amish books that I've been reading. So, yeah. Um, then we have to read a romance book with a man on the cover. This is the one that I didn't get to. So I switched around and luckily... This one has a man on the cover also, which is my original Forbidden Romance. And this is Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Um, this was the book that I really liked the least out of all these. I gave this one three stars. When I originally did the TBR video, I said that this was I, I thought was going to give me Twilight vibes. It didn't. Well, it kind of did, but in a bad way. Um... It just, I, and I don't know if I'm going to continue with this or not. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But it's about 
fallen angels and um, a girl who happens to meet a fallen angel. He's in class with her and there's just all kinds of convoluted stuff and just, I don't know. I didn't really like it as much as I was hoping I was going to like it. Um, and so I gave it three stars. I don't know if I'd recommend this. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to continue. I don't know. I might read one more and see if it gets any better. Maybe. I don't know. If you guys have read this series, let me know if it gets better or if it just continues the way this one goes. Because if it does, I, I definitely don't, don't, I don't have any desire to continue with that one. Okay. So the last book I ended up finishing for the challenge was read an LGBTQIA or LGBT romance. And I chose to read Fat Angie by E.E. E. Charlton Trullo. This book I gave five stars. This book to me was amazing. Um, I am heavy. If you guys have watched my anyone where you see my face, you, you know I'm heavy. I've been heavy my whole life. And so I could so relate to her in her, in people, you know, calling her names and things. Now, I never had it as bad as she did. Um, but that feeling of, of not, you know, fitting in because of your weight and um, things like that. Uh, yeah, totally. Um, but she has so many problems, poor thing. Um, I think she's almost like she's autistic in a way, or at least she's, she's, she sees things differently than other people do in her processing and things. She doesn't have a lot of, um, uh, social, you know, social graces, I guess. That's not the word I'm looking for, but, you know, just so you'll understand. Um, and what is going on in this book is her older sister has gone to war in Iraq or Afghan Af Afghanistan, and she was captured and they've seen the video and stuff everybody else thinks her sister is dead and angie has you know is just fighting it with everything she has okay people pick on her mercilessly at school and then there's this new girl that shows up and then she has angie has to go through this whole thing of the her feelings and her the thing the way that this new girl is making her feel so there's so much going on in this book um and we get it all from from angie's perspective um and just uh and then also this book has got the worst mother in the world it, it is oh she is horrible um but there is a second book and i i'm definitely going to read that because i definitely want to figure find out what what happens and and what's going on so but anyway guys those are the books that i read i did not end up finishing these broken stars uh by amy kaufman and megan spooner i got that far i am going to finish it is really good i'm really enjoying it but i just ran out of time so all right guys well thank you very much and i'll see you again and please remember to always be kind to one another bye